Everybody's seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when it was all about the candy for the kids. But today we're doing a grown-up version. We've got chocolate paired with wine. It's all about the days of wine and chocolate. And we're here at Consulman Winery to take a taste. Let's go inside. Andrew, we're here to talk about the wine and chocolate event, which is very popular and becoming an annual here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, an event put on by the uh, wineries of Niagara Lake Group, um, obviously out of Niagara Lake. Uh, it's a group of 26 unique wineries that have uh, come together this February to uh, just celebrate uh, everything wine and chocolate. It's not just at your winery. There's quite a few different wineries involved. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something we all kind of um, put a lot of passion to. We um, put a lot of um, a time and effort to select the right pairing um, that, that would go with um, each of our wines. Um, it's, it's also an, a nice way for each winery t um, uh, to kind of identify what they do best. And it, it's, it gives us an opportunity to bring some traffic um, to each of the, the properties um, during a bit of a slower season in February. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a really good program, and, and it has been working out well for, I'd say, the past over 10 years now. I really value is, is we really work together. Um, we're, we're the first to recommend another uh, winery down the road and if, if maybe we don't do a specific wine at our property, we're, we're the first to call out the next one to say, you know what, they do a great job down the road. So it is, it is something that, that is uh, very community based and it's something that I think we all in the wineries in Negative Lake Group take a lot of pride in. Now they can come here to Consulman Winery and sample yours, but they can also get a passport. Tell us what that's all about. Yeah, so the passport's available online. It's uh, $45 um, through uh, the website, uh, wineriesofniagaralake.com. Um, and, and yeah, they go online, they buy the passport, and they, it's, it's up to them. They, they go and they venture out to each, uh, each of the properties. Um, there's a full listing on the, web, on the website that, um, uh, that they can go through and kind of choose uh, you know, what, what chocolate pairing caters to them the best. Now, this now, Brittany, years ago they had, the, I guess it was the Reese's Pieces where they put uh, peanut butter and chocolate together. Now, this is a great pairing you have here, wine and chocolate. Tell us about that. So what we have today is a Ghirardelli dark chocolate rye cookie with mulled and salt snow on top. So it's a bit of a different type of cookie. Usually you get something more like a chocolate chip, but this one's got a bit of a different element to it because of the savory salt that's on there. So we're going to pair it today with our 2013 Pinot Noir Reserve. Now, this guy is aged in barrel for about two years. And so it's going to have a bit of an oaky, smoky element to it and earth tones. But when you pair it with the cookie, it's really going to bring out the fruit forward notes of the wine. So it's all about the cookie. It's, all, it's not it's just all a, you can't just get a chocolate chip cookie out of the store and it might not do the same for you. Oh, yeah. Every food pairing is going to make it different. So everything that you get, that's going to be a totally different element to the wine. And now you're pairing up food, but you don't have a kitchen here. Tell us about the partnership you have in the community. Yeah, so this cookie is actually from Casimir Restaurant in Niagara Falls. So we do have a lot of uh, great relationships mm, with good. other places um, from around the area, even from as far as Hamilton. We'll work with them closely, and they'll um, give us some really great food pairings that we will pair with our wines. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm here for my birthday, and we're here for... The Days of Wine and Chocolates! I love the cookie at Consulman Winery, but when I came over here to Pondview, I noticed they have like a baby back rib with some chocolate. I'm going to go and check that out. Well, we've got a fantastic pairing. It's our 2014 Cab Sauvignon. That's our Bella Terra series, so that's our premium wine here at the winery, Bob. And what's unique about this is Cab Sauvignon is 22 months in French oak. And as you can see behind me, we're surrounded by uh, future vintages. So future Cab Sauvignons are, are getting ready for uh, years to come. Now paired with that, we've, we've taken a rib and we've dusted it with cocoa and some secret spices. However, we do have the recipe available for people to take. Uh, that spends five hours in the oven, slow cooking. It comes out for a few minutes and then a chocolate barbecue sauce is added. So the pairing is magnificent. A little cayenne to give you a hint of spice, but uh, the pairing between our 2014 Bellaterre Cab Sauvignon and those ribs are absolutely amazing. Now, going into something like this, tell me, how much fun did you have sampling it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, it's always fun to sample all of the wines to make sure you're obviously getting the pairing, but those ribs and the wine combination has been amazing, and all of our team members here have enjoyed them as well. How, what's it been like, the people coming through? Well, the people have been very enthusiastic. People have come through a little bit of snowy weather, actually, in the first couple weekends. But everybody has been delighted to, uh, to come to the winery. And I've heard nothing but great reviews from everybody with all the wineries that they visited, which is always nice. So consistently, people are happy to come to this event. And it's over four weekends, so it really allows you to pace yourself, take your time, and go to as many wineries on those days as you want. So you can do two or three wineries in a day, five or six, whatever you feel comfortable with. But being able to do it over four weeks is a really good opportunity for people. Now, I couldn't help overhearing uh, you reacting to the ribs. What did you think with the pairing? 
They're delicious. Um, it's a little spicy. The chocolate and the barbecue is um, an interesting combination. Um, I love it. It is a fantastic pairing. I think it pairs well um, with rib and chocolate and ribs. You can't go wrong. <laughs> is this something you might try in the barbecue at home? Uh, excellent. Yes, uh, definitely. I, I told her she could keep me if she could figure out how to make it, and, and the recipe came over. And the wine, the wine's excellent. <laughs> Very good. Now, have you been on, uh, got the passport and been to different wineries in the area? We have. This is our second tour. Um, we did a tour last year. This is a chocolate and wine tasting, um, our Valentine weekend. Um, so it's good timing. And um, yes, we've enjoyed many of the wineries in Canada. We'd like to thank Consulman and Pondview for helping us out. And remember, there's a lot of other great wineries. So get out, check out the Days of Wine and Chocolate. There's only one more weekend. Go to their website for more information. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bob. I love my baby back, baby back, chocolate ribs, Romeo.